Hi besties, so for today's style, I've already cut the base as usual, so I'm going to be measuring out all what we need for this style, okay? So, and I think I use four, um, three and a half pieces of ashe, okay? Okay, it's not up to four pieces, it's not up to half, half bundle because the length is 90 inches. So, the measurement you need for this style is um, 45 inches in four places, okay? 45 inches, can you see 45 inches? four times there and i join it in twos okay i join it in twos just join two together like that and that's all we need for this style all right guys so i've set the base on the dummy so the next thing we are going to be doing now is to work on the frame so you take the first two the first one you place it like this from the side leaving um, about five inches then i'm going to pin it down like so then I'm going to take it all the way to the middle, but it won't get to the middle, just like one inch away from the middle is what I'm going to be doing. So I just pin everything down. I'm going to I'm going to pleat everything out like that. Okay. Alright, guys. So I've done that now. I've pleated everything. So I'm going to take the second one and repeat exactly the same thing that I've done for the first one. Okay. So fold it like that, leave about five inches, then you pin it from the sides all the way to the middle, but it won't get to the middle, just one inch away from the middle. I'll pleat everything also. Now come back. All right, guys, so here we have I've pleated everything out. So just watch what I'm going to be doing closely. I'm going to be twisting it together like this. Just watch it closely, it's very, very easy. So here I'm trying to arrange, then you twist it, you twist it the first time. For this style, you can decide to twist one time, but I decide to twist twice, okay? It depends on what you want. You can twist just one time, or so you take it the second time, okay? So I decide to go the second time. And this the disadvantage of you twisting twice is that it's going to lift up your, your gilly. It's going to be higher, okay? Compared to you twisting just once, okay. So after twisting the second time, now I'm going to be working with one. I will leave the other one like that. So I start to work with the one on the left first, okay. So I'm going to spread it out and pleat it like so. So I'm going to spread it out. Just watch what I'm doing closely, and this is just to inform us that we are going to be having our paid class on the on the fifth of august and it is going to be on telegram i'm going to be dropping the details in the description box below and also do well to check my previous video on the styles you are going to be learning and the amount is just five thousand naira. okay for three different latest trending styles okay so i'm going to be dropping the um details the payment details the dates and the venue on the description box below also and feel free to check previous video on for more information okay so you just keep on pleating like that so this one is just like a normal fan plate okay you just form a normal fan plate all the way to the sides and you finish it off just exactly the same way we finish off our fan okay can you see what we have here so i'm going to use my clip to hold it together like that so we're just going to repeat the same thing for the other side okay i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side and here use as many pins as you want because you need a lot of pin to hold it down and remember we've not stuck anything at all so you need a lot of pin to hold it down before tacking and the reason why i don't tack is that in case you make a mistake it will be very easy for you to just lose everything and start all over again okay so whichever one you want you can be tacking as you are pleating just go with the one that works well for you okay and as, as you can see here i'm trying to arrange the pleats while pleating the fan on top of the previous one okay just make sure your pleats are well arranged Okay, so you're just going to take it like that and also form the fan all the way down 
like that okay so at the middle there i'm going to be using a pin to hold it together okay you don't just want to leave it like that for this particular style the two at the middle has to be joined together okay so i'm just going to continue the fan plate like that while arranging the plates underneath so just continue plating and using your um your pin to hold it all the way down like that okay so very easy just watch what i'm doing and i believe by the grace of god you are going to get yours too okay so i'll just continue like that forming the fan plate a normal regular fan plate that we do is what you are going to do here also just take it like that all the way see i've almost got into the edge there so and the last plate there can you can see so it's as easy as that so just arrange it very well and i'm going to use my clip to hold it down also all right guys so this is it i'm just going to go ahead and tack the tacking is just normal way there's no particular rule of tacking just tack in a neat way and make sure that you don't alter the style that you've created so i'm going to tack fix the undo for both sides okay i'm going to stack everything together fix the undo and i'll come back to show you the next thing to do please please and please just stack in a neat way okay you don't want the thread showing all over the place okay so just stack in a neat and i'll come back to show you all right guys so this is it i've tacked everything together and i've also fixed the undo for both sides so the next thing we are going to be doing is just to tack that middle that we use pin to hold together you need to tack it please and please don't forget your pin there <laughs> So this is how I tack it. I didn't knot the thread, so I just start from inside one of the pleats, the fan pleat like that. Take it all the way to the back and come back, finish everything off at the middle like that. So that way, by the time you knot it, it won't be showing, it won't be visible. So I'm just going to tie it together like that. So sorry about that i didn't know that my camera didn't capture that piece but what i'm doing there is just to tie everything together and cut it off okay so that's all that's all i did so that is all guys so i'm just going to take it to my sewing machine finish off the undo okay and i'll come back to show you the finished look guys all right, this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do please give it a thumbs up share with your loved ones and leave a comment below see you in my next next video bye